Hey everybody, good afternoon. It's Erin Strayer here and today is a really, really hot topic that we're going to talk about as female entrepreneurs, business owners, women in the world, all the hats that we wear. That's what we're going to talk about today. And as soon as I see our guests come on live to here, um, I'm going to send her out a, maybe we're just a little bit early. I don't know, but she's going to pop on here. We're going to talk with her and we're going to just be really, really super raw, authentic, be real. Talk about this pain point that is so imperative in our worlds as women and as, um, you know, all the hats that we wear in that um, role. So I'm going to invite her in and she will... Um, just a second and we're going to just jump into this topic because I feel, hey, hey girl, hey. Good morning. Oh, I've heard that somewhere. <laughs> How are you? Oh my gosh. Hi, beautiful. I'm great. I'm really, really great. Yeah. It's, um, this is Shannon Miller, everybody. And uh, if you got to see my interview with her, uh, what was that? Shannon, was that like two weeks ago, maybe? Three? Mm -hmm. Are we, if we look up, we'll find it. I know. I was looking, looking at my calendar up there on the wall to see if I could <laughs> find you. Ah! Yeah, I think it was two weeks ago. It's been about two weeks. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah. super amazing interview with Shannon. We, we talked about some awesome stuff about body image. And that just kind of really spurred, like, some ongoing conversation between you and I, didn't it? And how, yeah, yeah you know, and how we how we as women show up in the world and all the different ways that that like comes all crashing down on us. Right. Like, ah, the hats we have to wear. <laughs> I, and it's funny because hats is the word that keeps coming up for me. Like it's just really hat, hat, hat. <laughs> Yeah. 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 Oh my gosh. We're super excited. If you guys are on here, like seriously, this is something that you're going to want to share out to your people and have them jump online because we're going to have this massive organic conversation today. And right. Right. Yeah. Like it's all going to be from our hearts. This is not scripted. We don't have an agenda today other than we want to talk about this and man, it like affects every single one of us. Like Really? Like, let's just amen to that, sister, right? Thanks, Harley. <laughs> it's so true. It's so true. And I think, uh, I don't think I know. We just don't talk about it enough. And I think all of us get into this space of we're the only ones living in that world and we're the only ones who struggle. Um, we're the issue. We're the problem. We're just not good enough. Um, when really, it's all of us. We're all going through the struggle. It's yeah. Just like yeah, right? And And, you know, when that happens, like, I know for me personally that, um, you know, I kind of start to retreat and I, 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 I choose not to go, Hey, I need some help over here. I'm, I'm, I'm drowning. Right. Yeah. Like, yeah, ah! because I feel that that can be perceived as weak and then I'm not that person Yeah. to my tribe and my people and the people that I support, but man, it gets rough well, sometimes. I we think about, if you think about it, you know, especially when you put it into the business world, into that perspective, um, it's kind of like the first time you walk into a gym and go to the weight section, I call it the <laughs> sea of men, right? It's just a sea of men. Where do those women go? It's right. scary out there. And don't you dare get scared of the weights. Act like you know what you're doing. Just keep going. And then you can go home and cry about it later. But that's how it is in business. You go out and it is kind of a sea of men. Yeah. And even the women that are there, there's this idea that if you need help or if you have emotion or if you're unsure of yourself, whatever that is, that that's not okay. Oh, my gosh. Is this resonating with anybody? Give me some, like, a one or a thumbs up or shoot me some hearts or something because that, like, ooh, right? Like, you don't, don't want to. Right? Yeah. Don't feel it. Just don't feel it. Yeah. You just go how forward. Does that, how does that translate with women? Because number one, we are very powerful when we're in our feminine, right? Yeah. Um, and there is this switch off. That's what those hats are. It's a transition. But doing that from business and even in business, remaining in our feminine, because that's powerful. There's a lot of masculine out there. The feminine does amazing in the business world. 
it's just looking at it in a different way. Um, but I think society has built up this idea that feminine is weak and emotional and catty and gossipy and bitchy. And right. Right. Yeah. Or we have to, um, it's all fake. Yeah. It's the other side of it too. You know, like our hair has to be right and we have to have the lipstick and the makeup perfect. And, and we have to be dressed appropriately because we have to show up as such. Yeah. Right. And, yeah. and I, I know that there's a ton of people. Hey, Sheena, I'm super loving the hearts there, honey. Thanks. Cause Sheena's all into this. Uh, not Sheena. Oh my gosh. Where'd that got that? <laughs> Stina. Um, <laughs> it's a T and an H. They're two different people in my world. <laughs> it's all the same. I don't know. It's all the same. Yeah. Um, so yeah, like I think to myself, okay, well it's at six, at 6 AM I wake up and I got my mom hat on and then, um, at 6 40, 40, it switches to, okay, that's Aaron hat. And then it switches at, you know, seven o'clock and I put on my, my, my work hat and I go and I be that. And then, oops, then all these other hats pop in during the day. And it's like, I just need a rack of hats. Cause yep. okay, now I'm a firefighter and then I'm a, right now I'm a pastor and then I'm a, <laughs> right. <laughs> I'm a pastor. I'm a school counselor. I don't yeah. know. Yeah, no, I'm a taxi true. driver, and I'm I'm a lot. I own a laundromat, and um, oh, I'm a I'm a chef, and <laughs> yeah. Yeah. yeah, and here and you know, like kind of playing in that. So we wear all these hats, right? And it's not just in the morning your mom hat, and then during the day you're working. Like it's literally second to second sometimes. And I know for me, being in an at home, like a home based business. Um, it's really hard to figure out how to manage all of that. But then, so we get into business, right? And especially entrepreneurs, like you are, you are the business, right? People yeah. are buying into you and only you can motivate you and only you can drive you every single day. And so when you have things that are popping up and you like, do you transition into it and become emotional and let that take over? How do you, how do you do a small transition in being compassionate and feminine, but still super freaking powerful in your business and not be cold? Like, how do you do all of this? Right. I'll tell you what, Erin, I'm tired of hearing people say there needs to be a balance. There's no such freaking thing. <laughs> Amen. <laughs> like, if I could high five you, I would. Right. Ah. <laughs> right. I tried finding it. There's no such thing. There is no balance. Yeah. Yeah. And you know, the other thing too, the other word that comes up a ton for me is consistency. Hey, Amy, um, you know, Amy can, Amy can tone in here too with us, chime in. Um, Stina's got right there with us too. And I don't know who else is online with us, but you know, we're all, we all have all of this, but that balance goes right hand in hand with consistency for me too, because our, the expected consistency for each one of those hats is different. Yeah. 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 It's tough. Right. And oh my gosh, how do you like that management of that and our ability, like we're super women. I mean, come on, let's just be real. We were born with capes on and <laughs> our, we have our superpower socks and, and like we're yeah. amazing women, right? We're like flipping amazing to be able to, to navigate and manage the expectations and a lot of them let's be real we we put them on ourselves right absolutely absolutely i think we've been fed you know it's funny this morning my my eight-year-old son left the house he always has a book in his hand when you go to get in the car he had the four agreements because <laughs> it sits on my coffee that. table yeah it's one of my favorite books in the entire yeah. world because i think it's so simple but yet so profound in, in, in the way that we should live our life, right? And one that really like sticks with me is being impeccable with your word. Um, yeah. Not just to other people, but to yourself because you are setting that expectation. You know, regardless yeah. of what society tells you or what, how, what in your house growing up or what your mom and dad did or what your husband expects or what your kids expect, ultimately you get to define who you are and how you show up as a mom, as a wife, as a business owner. Um, but being impeccable with what you choose to let in for you, like it's all yeah. dialogue. Yeah. You know, and that book, that book, honestly, hi everybody. Thanks for jumping on that specific book for me was, was life changing. I took an entire course around that book. 
You did. I did. I took an entire, it was a six week course. Laura, you might've taken this course with Aviana too. I don't know. Um, but yeah, I took an entire course around that book. Yeah. Yeah. My yeah. eight year old reading it. Well, and he said this morning I get them to school and he, and he's, so do you know what this word is? You ready? Uh -huh. Domestication. <laughs> and I said, oh, that's wonderful. But what does it mean? And he was like, <laughs> go back and read, bud. Go back and read. But it's amazing because I, I want my, my kids to understand too that just because I believe something doesn't mean that it has to be their belief, right? Yeah. You know? It's yeah, that's huge. That. That's, that's huge. You know, yeah. um, allowing our children to, um, be, to be their own person. And st I mean, we still have to be the mom and mold them that we, we yeah. yeah, you know, we don't allow them to get hurt, but you know, to allow them to have their own opinions and to form who they are as people in the world and to, instead of us forming it for them. So what's Ed yeah. saying here? I'm so clueless got, about how to, what's he say? How this came up for me not to follow yet viewers. I'm lost, Ed. <laughs> I'm lost, Ed. Help me out. Ed, just keep watching. <laughs> just I don't keep watching. <laughs> it's about to get really, really good, Ed. It's it's getting there. <laughs> yeah. So so let's stick on that book for a second because that for obviously, I mean, we didn't even know until right now that was such a huge, um, monumental, yeah, tangible thing for you and I. Um, like a book, it. right? Yeah. And there's, there's really four. The first one you already said is be impeccable with your word. And that, like, it seems like it's such an easy thing, you know, just to speak with integrity, right? But what's yeah. integrity? What's, what's integrity mean to you? You guys in the, in the comment, tell me what integrity means to you as we're talking about this. We'll see what these comments say coming through. So I think, uh, what's, you know, when I talk about impeccable with my word, I think it's a lot easier outwardly. Yeah. It's not easy inward like yeah. what's up here is very different versus what would come out of my mouth so what I say to me is very different like I would never in a million years say the things that I say to me to other people right yeah. so that for me was uh, a game changer and really like paying attention and filtering what the thought the thought processes that were going on in my head so, yeah yeah. Um, the book we're talking about, people, somebody asked what the book was called. It's called The Four, the Four in Gre uh, Agreements um, by, uh, what's the author's name? Um, Don Miguel. Is that his Don name? Miguel. Yeah, yeah Look, Don I Miguel. The fifth. Can oh. you see it? It's the fifth. Yeah, that's the fifth one. That's the edition. Yeah. So that's cool. Mine's, mine's over there on my bookshelf. I can't go get it. Um, but yeah, see, being genuine when saying what your heart feels is absolutely true. And, and sometimes that disconnect is, is some of the, the problem as female entrepreneurs that we have. Let's yeah. just go back to our topic, right? And being organic with how we show up as and the, the issues and the, the hard and the messy and why that gets hard and messy <laughs> for us, yeah. right? Yeah, right. Is, is because so much we're in our head instead of in our heart and like, I think it just like is a easy segue with the four agreements there, that impeccable word. If we are, if I get to speak all the time from my heart instead of from my head, I, I feel that that's saying what I mean. Yeah. Yeah. And, and that oozes out into everything. It, again, is that super hard? It, it goes into, um, you know, my, my fear a lot of times is, when I do that, even though it's um, speaking from my heart, am I going to be liked if I do that? Right. Yeah. Yeah. Amy says integrity. Oh, I just missed it. Integrity means to me living for an, an audience of one. I love that. What, yeah. what am I doing by myself? How am I being authentic, vulnerable, choosing to love within myself and seeing myself the way God sees me? Yeah. 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 I love that. The audience of one. I love that. Yeah. Right. And then Laura's. Laura saying, says, yeah, saying, go ahead. Um, so, and sometimes not saying something is being impeccable with our word. And you're absolutely right. You know, yeah. there are things sometimes that we say that we don't realize the impact that it's going to have on somebody's life. It can be the tiniest little thing and somebody internalizes it and they, they see it in a different way. And it can be something tiny and it sticks with them forever. 
And so yeah. you really can't be very clear in what you have to say and in loving feedback, then just don't give it. Just yeah. give it. <laughs> yeah. Right. I heard something the other day and um, I know that you and Amy specifically also heard the same thing, but it, it, res it resonated so strong with me. And it, it was um, the don't, don't say, what was it? Don't say mean things in a mean way. Was that what it was? Don't. I don't remember. I'm going to have to go through it. I wrote it down and it was like, Ooh, you can. I was uh, I'm you can I don't, it was meaningful. Like it. I know it was meaningful. It was really, really meaningful about saying mean like things. Guys. Yeah. Yeah. I, enough to remember. I wrote it down. I'm going to go back and find it. <laughs> so good. Okay. Well, you yeah. know, okay. So, and I think, so here, I'm going to be super vulnerable and talk yeah. about like where I'm doing work. Um, so in business and then family and then spouse, like we're all on our own journey, right? Yeah. Everybody's on their own journey and there should be no judgment of who's where, when for me right now. Um, one of the hardest parts is all the hats yeah. and the transition from being a powerhouse, right? Cause that's a word that people use, um, which I don't know how I feel about it yet. I haven't decided when people are like you're a powerhouse. So I'm like, what is that? Is that like, what is that? What is that? Yeah. What's the definition of that truly? Um, and I think every, depending on who you ask, their own definition kind of, you know, goes with it. But for me, it's been the transition, the transition from, you know, business and powerhouse to loving, compassionate, soft wife. Um, and I see it with my husband and with my kids. There's times where I, I just, I don't turn it off and not necessarily turn off, but do that transition. Right. And I'm not this soft, cuddly mother or soft, cuddly wife that I need, that I get to be. Because I yeah. love being that person. I, it, I, it probably bothers me more sticking in my masculine and my business and my go, go, go than, you know, being able to transition. It really bothers me that I can't, so I, I sometimes have difficulty transitioning. Um, yeah. Because yeah. That, that feminine gives so much power to other people just leading with love and compassion. Yeah. So, you know, and I think, I think us as women, there are so many hats. It's learning the transition, learning like that dance. It's an actual dance. Mm -hmm. So how do we move from, you know, business into your husband is here and being soft and cuddly, or your kids are showing up and want to tell you a story and you're going to make time for that silly story you've heard 50 times. Yes. Yeah. You yeah. Cause it's important. It. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Right. Yeah. And the, yeah, the transit, the transition, I feel sometimes I get stuck just yeah. like you were saying, like, I, I can't grab the hat fast enough. Yeah. And, and then that, um, that wonky feeling of being stuck in between hats, um, really is, um, it's, it's, I don't, I'm not going to use the word balance. I'm not going to use the word off balance. I'm not going to use the word inconsistency, but it's uncomfortable. Yeah. Yeah. Cause you're yeah. unsure. Yeah. 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 And, um, you know, again, you guys, these are no joke. These are, these are things that all of us as women specifically deal with. If yeah. you're, you know what I mean? If you wear more than one hat and I don't, I don't know any woman, I don't care if you're married or not, have kids or not, that only wears one hat. Yeah. I don't. <laughs> you know? <laughs> well, I gotta really think about that. I'm pretty sure that I don't. I'm pretty sure yeah. that's a no. But yeah. it's, it's true, you know? And I, I, I think one of the things is, is community. You know, being involved in community, creating community around you. If there are no communities of, of you know, female entrepreneurs or, you know, whatever that is for you, a group of moms, you know, whatever that is that, that gives you that, that, that love and whatever you need, mm -hmm. um, or you want, you have to form it. I didn't. Yeah. Have, yeah. And I, we, I didn't have community the way that I do now. And having that is amazing because when you get lost in your head, you have a place to go. So if other people can, can stand up for you and say, no, that's, is that real? Is that, is that real? Is that really happening right now? Is that who you are? I don't think so. 
you know, yeah. you and I have done that for each other and it's beautiful. Yeah. You know, and it's funny because, um, when, okay, so this, this experience happened, like, I wouldn't necessarily have thought that you and I would be what we are right now. Right. right. So, right. so here's the thing, ladies, we are not in competition with each other. We are on this earth to complete each other. And here's the beautiful thing about community is that so many of us have similarities and common denominators that pull us together out. I mean, just past the one thing that we're all female, you know, and when we take the time, when I took the time to figure out who Shannon Miller was, it was like one conversation and boom, man, I got a girlfriend for life now. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Right. And I feel like, I feel like it's this ever growing, ever evolving thing. Like even yesterday, I learned more new things about you that even grew my love even more, you know? Yeah. So it's, like what, and, and I think that this is for everybody. If you guys ask yourself, what would it be like to have relationships like that? What would that mean for your life? How would that change things? Because I can't yeah. guarantee you whether business, family, financial, all of it will absolutely explode if you had those type of relationships and those type of communication and the type of honest, loving feedback to help you get out of your, excuse me, your shit when you're in yeah. shit. You don't have to excuse yourself for that. Okay, good, I'm not sure. <laughs> I, don't, I don't know. <laughs> I don't want to offend anybody. <laughs> you don't want to worry about people liking you or not liking you. <laughs> they all love you. <laughs> you look, I'm not super soft. I just said shit. Oh, I know. Ooh. <laughs> you know, so it, it's so true what Shannon's saying and that the, um, the level of connection and um, the feeling of belonging and the feeling that I know now um, that there is a group of people that we have a, a massive common denominator, right? Right? It's like fire. It's fire it is like so stinking magnetic and like, like you yeah. get warm fuzzies all over you and want to do the funky chicken dance. I mean, like, it's just like, okay, bring all the baby goats because I want to see them and, and ooh and ah over them. And then I want to do the funky chicken dance because that's how it makes me feel. <laughs> I know, I'm so Oh weird. my gosh, goats and chickens, where did this go? I know, it went to chickens! Because I love chickens. I know, what's happening? It's true. We, like, my husband and I used to say that we were on Miller Island. You know, it's beautiful, but it was lonely. You know, and we have, and we have different communities now. You know, we have one that is, you know, it started from our business, and it's grown into an amazing family. And then we have another community with you that's just freaking phenomenal, and there's a connection there, like, like nothing else I've ever experienced. And so um, when, when you have people there to raise you up and to stand for you, when you can't necessarily stand for yourself, that yeah. is a game changer. in every aspect of life, if you like, and we, we heard this when we first started our business, your business is only going to grow as much as you do. Yeah. If you look at my last year, we've done a lot of growing. And it, there is, it's a reflection. And so when you, you know, get a part, even mastermind groups, like to me, that is community coming together and sharing in a common bond to really lift each other up. There's no competition. Right. Right. No competition. There's right. No competition. There's an abundance. We don't need to compete. Yeah. Yeah. And, and you know, that feeling of the support that comes from those kind of of relationships and groups. And, um, you know, people talk all the time about finding your tribe, dude, it is so, it is so pivotal yeah. to your growth. Um, our growth as women and business owners, and let's just come right back to the hot topic there, right? Miller Island needs to, yeah. needs to have some guests, you know, right. <laughs> you know, Aaron Strayer.com needs to have some some people I need to touch and feel some people and whether that's just tapping like this whether it's the um the outreach of a text message hey I was just thinking about you you changed my world thanks so much um yeah. it just 
it does. It uplifts you. It holds you. It supports you. It gives you, it gives you a, Hey man, I am in my lane and I am doing what my life calling is. And, but it doesn't happen without community and that. Yeah. So right. super, and super. Sorry. Go ahead. Go ahead. Super. No, I was just going to say super pivotal to find, you know, go get out into groups, go find like, search um, topics that are relevant to what you're doing. If you're, you know, like you, you're in health coaching and you're in empowerment and I'm in empowerment and maybe there's a cross connection there. And so why not share those resources with your people? Hey, you might like this, this group and this group that I'm in is really blah, blah, you know, this, this, and this, and go, go check them out for a little bit and see if it fits for you. Right. But that's just, it's, you have to take the action. Yeah, at home and say, "Why me? Why me? Why me?" Right. You do have to get up, but I always say, "Like, go with your gut. You're gonna feel it. Mm -hmm. You're gonna have to get uncomfortable because it's not always people growing in that. In that, but um, even walking into a room of strangers, you have you have to be willing to get uncomfortable and to put yourself in those positions so that you can grow and that you can build those relationships." You're farming, yeah. you know, yeah. planting seeds and figuring out who's a good match for me. You're yeah. just sifting. Somebody told me that once. You're just sifting. Find more people like you. And I'm like, oh, that's brilliant. Yeah. Find more people like me and yeah. more areas and more, you know what I mean? Yeah. And so you're just sifting, finding your tribe, but you have to take action. It's not going to just fall in your lap. Right. Yeah. And that's where the consistency, I mean, that's where I do like using the word consistency because yeah as as we are constantly involved evolving and our impact on the world continues to grow right that means if we're growing then we are reaching and we continue we have we have to continue to search and sift right to build and to grow and to create and cultivate that in that environment um for ourselves. Yeah. It's, we might be, cause both of us are super magnetic people. People are naturally drawn to both of us, but we have to be the magnet, right? Like, right. They don't know right. where they don't know that we are those type of people unless they get to experience us. Yeah. Unless we turn it up, unless we, we flip the switch. I ask me, ask me who I was five years ago. Right. Who were you five years ago, Shannon? I was not magnetic. <laughs> That's for freaking sure. Mm -hmm. I wasn't. Yeah. I was miserable. I was sad. I was miserable. I didn't like myself. I hid in the back. Um, you know, I didn't want to be seen. I was mm -hmm. afraid. Like, all of the negatives. All of the negatives. And I lived in it because I thought, well, that's just how it was. You don't have an option. Yeah. And, and, you know, as I've grown and realized who I am and what my purpose is, it doesn't serve me and it doesn't serve the rest of the world to play small and to play the pity party. You know, I, yeah. I don't, I, I choose not to be a part of that anymore. Yeah. So have you taken some of what you learned from that? Hey, I didn't show up and I, I played small and the, whatever you learned from that experience, have you brought that forward to you now? And like, because I'm sure you see it, re those behaviors reflected in your, the clients that come to you. Yes. Yes. And I, everything, and, you know, when you're in the health and wellness business, I think every experience that you've had is a lesson to be shared. Right. And that's what this is. Like when we, when I talk about my struggles as, you know, a teenage girl and struggles into early adulthood and my divorce and you know, a single mom with two kids and my eating issues and all of those things. Every single thing relates into being able to help coach and mentor other people. Yeah. Because um, you can't, like, I think, uh, what is it, Erin? You have to, like, go through it to be an expert. What was it that you said yeah. that day? Shoot. Yeah. So, yeah. So we have an experience. Everybody gets to have an experience. Uh, every day you have experiences that cause emotions. And yeah. based on those emotions, we choose an action. So yeah. we either choose to stay in the emotion or we choose to move through it. Right. The growth. 
And I want, if we choose to move through it, then we learn the lessons that we were supposed to learn. Right. And, and, that, and then you become, yeah, then you become the expert of that situation, that yeah. experience. And yeah. boom, just like that, somebody's coming right up behind you with the same exact situation and experience. And now you can be that, that rock for them, that solid person for them, because you just went through it and you right. came out the other side. Yeah. Yeah, your lessons, your struggles aren't for you. They're no, for you. no, they're not. And when, when, and if you relate that back into business, you know, you have employees. They have lives. They're human beings. They're gonna have. They're gonna have strengths and weaknesses, and they're gonna have. And all of your lessons are going to relate into that. That's where you're gonna. That's where you're gonna teach and share and, and grow and cultivate with those people. Um, but yeah. but you have to. You have, you have to make the choice. You get to make the choice whether or not you want to bust through whatever struggle. Yep. I don't, sometimes I don't even like the word struggle because I'm not struggling. Yeah. It's an obstacle yeah, or I'm a challenge. Through it. Yeah. Yeah. Like I'm feeling it. I'm learning. I'm making decisions, whether they be right or wrong. It, it's indifferent. It doesn't matter. Yeah. What matters is that I come out the other side, a bigger, better, stronger person. And then I share my gifts with others. There are no coincidences as to why you have situations in your life. Zero coincidences. Um, yeah. <laughs> Zero. It's not about you. Like I have people, you know, we've had people that have lost over a hundred pounds with us and, and it's like, this is, wasn't about you. Yeah. Look at the, look around, look at the people that are coming to you now. What do you get to do? What is your choice from here on out? Yeah. You know, when you grow a massive business and you're watching that young woman follow in your footsteps and, and you, you see her, you can share some lessons with her. You can yeah. help her. It can help grow and help give her resource. That is your purpose in that. Yeah. You know? And so it's just looking at it in a different way. But, you know, I, before Shannon, the old Shannon would have sat in it. Oh, yeah. My life. <laughs> right? It's true. You yeah. Know, why me? Why me? But no, I know why me. Yeah. I'm the perfect person in the perfect time to go through this so that I can go and do something with it. Right? <laughs> Yeah, high five. It, it, and it's so true. People, those of you that are on the, on our, still on with us, thanks for being here. And I know specifically, um, I could go through a handful of you guys and name specific things that each one of you have experienced. Those specific experiences and the emotions that they caused. This can be good or bad. Yeah. That then caused an action. You chose to take an action based on the emotion. Right? Yeah. And once you move through that, if you choose to move through it, those lessons and the identification of those, it's huge. I mean, it's huge and directly applicable. I mean, it's just, it's amazing. And it goes back to, again, our superpowers as women. Let's just loop around to why we're talking to Hey, right? This, this whole, the hats that we wear and how, how amazing as women we are, even though our lives are super complicated and it's tough. No joke. We're not going to lie to you. Everybody here knows and give me some hearts on this one because we're all right there. Um, on the the hard and the hats that we wear and that flipping and the, but all of those, all of those ability, the ability to flip those hats yeah. make us the people that we are and how we show up for our tribes, our people, our communities. It makes us that much stronger people. And we're right there with you. There is, there is no lack of hard, messy, disconnected, mm -hmm. feeling like we're not liked, feeling like nobody hears us, yeah. feeling like, um, you know, oh my gosh, my hair looks like crap today or, right? I mean, the image that comes not, out from... I'm not good enough. It's never enough. Nothing I do is right. Yeah. 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 Oh my gosh. I've posted 12 times and nobody's even clicked the light bucket button. I'm, I'm done. I'm done. I'm done. I'm, I'm hanging it up. Right. Right. If I just go back to being quiet like I was before, then none of these issues would be here. Yeah. Nobody sees me anyway. Right. right. Just shut yeah. Up. That, that blah, blah, blah. You need to put it on the shelf and tell it where to go, <laughs> you know, and keep pushing through because people are hearing you, people are seeing you, people see your, your consistency and um, they recognize that. And I think that's huge. Yeah. I think like that's huge. Leaders go first. 
Leaders always go first. I'll go. Yeah, I'll go. Just go. Go. Because nobody's going to lead your life for you. Go. And you get to choose. You okay. get to choose whether you go first and step okay. into your power and the impact that you're going get to continue to make on this world. Yeah. Every single one of you guys out there get to be that creative queen that goes out and puts her crown on and the super cape because really we're both let's just yeah. let's just acknowledge that we are queens i love that and your shoes are <laughs> cute too right so like really not only do we wear hats but we wear all these other things too so one of those hats is a crown um <laughs> yeah um hey um you got any closing thoughts for for our people I mean, I know we just kind of got on and talked organically, and I think that's really cool. And if you guys like this, let me let us know. So, um, I mean, I, for, for me, I think just just know that you're not alone in it. You know, we all have our struggle. Um, what you see at the forefront, that that image that you see of people, is not the definition of of what's going on in their life, and you're not alone. And if you get to choose to create a community and true open relationships, you'll learn um, other people's stories and people are going to learn from yours and you guys get to share and relate and communicate and have just the connection that you probably never had before with anybody. Um, but just step out. Leaders go first, lead your life, step out. And, and create that community and that culture and that life that you want. Um, because you don't have to believe the old stories that you've been telling. Yeah. Yeah. I don't, I don't have anything to add to that. That's beautiful. <laughs> okay. <I love> you. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Yeah. This organic talk might just kind of become a thing. Um, yeah. <clears throat> it, it might just become a thing. Um, and I'm just throwing that out there now. I'm spitballing, but um, it, I love organic talks. I love it when they come, when, when we get to talk from without an agenda, without, you know, we just kind of had that thought. We spitballed it this morning on what we wanted to talk about and let's just go there and, and whatever roles and whatever spirit guides us to talk about and however we're nudged to go forward with our conversation, that's just how it was going to roll. And this is what happens when that happens. Right. So, Leaders go first. Yeah. And that's what happens. And you you guys are making a huge impact on the world. And I just want you to know that I know and Shannon knows who you are. We believe in you. We support you. We're here for you. You know, Shannon's tribe with her tribe, my tribe with my tribe. If Shannon tribes, tr Shannon's tribe needs me, reach out to me because I'm right here for you. I'll hold you. I'll hold you too, and vice versa. If if my people need need want some of Shannon's amazingness, she's right there, and, and um, it's a beautiful thing. It's a really really beautiful thing to have community and strong and being super clear on that. So yeah, game yeah. changing, game life changing, life changing people. Oh, so good. Thank you so much for having me come on here with you. It's so fun. I know. I love you. It's so fun. I know you got to go. I got to go. People got to go. So, hey, everybody, have a great afternoon. You know, we're, we might continue with this organic conversation. So let us know your thoughts. We'll yeah. see you soon. Bye. Bye.